Hello everybody! In this video I will show you some tricks and experiments with my high voltage impulse generator. And yeah, as you can see here, here I have my setup containing out of three bifiler coils. And these are basically pulsed at a frequency of around 37.4 kilohertz. And basically what this setup is doing is this is the signal, uh, this is the signal generator. The signal, the square wave signal gets amplified by this audio amplifier and it switches the DC voltage coming from my power supply. And yeah, this MOSFET is doing the switching. And when it switches this DC voltage, very high voltage impulses get generated. So what you see on the oscilloscope is just what the probe picks up when it is not connected. But if I connect just one end to it, you will see the voltage spikes go way higher than what the oscilloscope can actually show. So I'm just guessing that we use here voltage spikes of more than 10 kilovolts because what my oscilloscope can show is 4 kilovolts. And as you can see, the Input voltage is 15 volts and the amps that are drawn are almost zero, so we have almost no power draw from this system. And yeah, to the output coils that I have here, I've connected my high voltage lead to a, a, a aluminum sphere. And let me place the camera right down here. So here is the aluminum sphere. This is basically a plastic ball wrapped in an aluminum foil and the whole ball is coated with epoxy. So if I touch it, there is no direct metal contact because everything is covered with plastic. And yeah, if you want to know how my high voltage impulse generator works, just watch my older videos. I've explained it multiple times in detail how to build it and how it actually works. So you can build it yourself. And if you build it correctly, like I told you, it is safe to operate and to touch because we are operating at very high voltage with almost zero current and at the high frequency. So the body can handle this kind of voltage very well. And I will show you this right now. So here I have the sphere holding it in my hand and if I hold it like this, so the hand covers the ball very well. I have here an, another um, neon bulb. You might notice neon bulbs, they need quite high voltage of I think around 100 volts to even light up. And if I just put one leg into the water, this is just a regular glass of tap water, it will light up, as you can see here. So basically my body, not directly touching the metal because it's covered in plastic or epoxy, is conducting the high voltage impulse electricity and yeah, the glass of water or the water in there is completing the circuit. So this should give you some ideas of what electricity actually is. And same if I touch this brass rod. So this whole thing is just an incense burner and this is made completely out of brass. So not that it would matter, it's just that it's this metal and I had laying around here. If I touch it anywhere, it will light up. And of course, this is not connected to anywhere. Same goes for this stainless steel knife. It just has to be metal or water. And this completes my electric circuit and lets this neon bulb light up. And also, if I let go of this ball, the lamp will go out. And it depends on how tight or how much of the ball I cover with my fingers if it lights up or not. It can only light it up very weakly like this. And if I 
hold it more, it will light up more. And I think this is pretty interesting because, yeah, you can see how the body conducts high voltage electricity very well, or better say the water in the body. And I also don't feel anything, I don't get shocked, I don't get any burns or something like this. Yeah, I basically can't feel it. And I can still conduct quite high voltage through my body and I don't feel anything. So I think most people haven't seen this before or don't know that this is possible. And yeah, this should give you some ideas of what electricity actually is. It is not something that is flowing through the wire. The wire is more of a field guideline. So the field wraps around the wire and guides it. And yeah, it's actually the dielectric field or the electrostatic field, whatever you want to call it, that is operating here. And as you have seen before, on the power supply, we have almost zero current draw. So we are also wasting almost no energy. So there's also almost no magnetic field involved in this whole scenario. And yeah, as I said before, this should give you a bit of a thought of what electricity actually is. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this and it gives you something to think about. And yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.